Hey, Actual Games, Duck, I'm here, and today is the eighth day of Bookmas. So let's just go ahead and go delve right into it. I went first last time, so Cooper, you go first this time. Mm. Oh, say who this was. The Robin, Cooper. I didn't say who this. No, I didn't say who this was recommended by. Hold on, I have to. No, I didn't find it. Here it is. This was recommended by Lady Dragon's Blood, which is a very cool username. Um, kudos to you for finding that. And this book is called Dandelion by Dawn Freeman. I, I think book. I've seen the these, not these illustrations, but the person open your book. who illustrated this, but no, you're not. The person who illustrated this, I'm pretty sure they illustrated a book that yeah. I have. Um, but this doesn't look good. I love lions, yeah. so I'm very excited to read this book. My turn. This was, yet again, recommended by Ma Wizard, who, like I said, recommended a lot of our books. And this is the second hardcover, I believe. The mostly paperback. And this is Alcatraz vs. the Evil Librarian, which is by Brandon Sanders and is the number one New York Times best-selling author. The illustrations are by Haley Lotto. I am pretty sure I went to the library, I saw a book like this, I picked it up, I took it home, and it was the fourth book. So, I'm pretty sure I've seen these books before, but it's very exciting to be able to actually like start at the beginning of the series. Um, but yeah, it doesn't actually have a back, so I will read this inside a bit. Okay. On his 13th birthday, foster child Al Alcatraz Smedry receives a bag of sand in the mail, an inheritance from his lost parents. When it is immediately stolen, he learns that it's not no ordinary bag of sand. With it, the evil librarians who, su who secretly rule the hush lands, librarian-controlled nations, such as the United States, Canada, and England, will finally overtake the free kingdoms as well. Alcatraz and his ragtag rag bang of freedom fighters must stop them once and for all. May I say that Alcatraz is an amazing name? Like, that's just a really cool name to have. But the plot of this book definitely sounds very, very interesting. It reminds me a little bit of The History Keepers, um, which I really like. So I have best, definitely think that I'm going to like this one. So thank you again to Mall Wizard for recommending so many books to us. So let's go read this one. <laughs> so this is Dandelion by Don Freeman. Dandelion. Dandelion by Don Freeman. After doing his daily exercises, Dandelion looked out of his window, blinked his eyes, and said, I wonder if the mail has come. He put on his sweater and went outside to the mailbox. There was a letter, and it was written in fancy gold ink. Dear Dandelion, You are my invited to my tea and taffy party on Saturday afternoon at half past three. Come. What? This is... Come as you are? Is that a thing that people say? Come as you are. Sincerely, Jennifer Giraffe. I'm really bad at reading because they're cursive. Yep, cursive. That's how to say English. Okay. Dandelion was very excited. Well, that's today, he said. It's a good thing I planned to get a haircut. As soon as he washed and dried the breakfast dishes and made his bed nice and neat, he ran down the street to the barbershop. Lou Kangaroo had a chair waiting for him. First, he trimmed Dandelion's hair. And then he gave him a shampoo. Dandelion thought he should have a mac manicure too. When Lou Kangaroo had finished, Dandelion looked a bit foolish. His mane was frizzy and fuzzy and completely unrealished. Maybe a wave, maybe a wave would help. Lou suggested, showing a picture from the latest fashion magazine for lions. Dandelion agreed. This is exactly what he needed. So Lou went about curling his mane. He looked magnificent. But now Dandelion thinks he should really wear, wear something more elegant than a sweater to the party. This jacket is the very newest style, said Theodore to the tailor, and it just fits you. All you need now is a cap and a cane. Happy Crane will be glad to help you. What a dapper dandy he had suddenly become. It's nearly half past three, said Danny Lion. I've just got time to get something for my hostess. A bouquet of Danny Lions would be perfect. He knew this tall door very well, having been here many times before. He rang the bell. When Jennifer, when Jennifer Giraffe opened the door, she looked very surprised. Yes, she said. What can I do for you? Why, well, I've come to your party. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but you're not anyone I know, said Miss Giraffe. You must have come to the wrong dress. And with this, she closed the door right in poor Dandelion's face. I'm Dandelion, he roared. You've made a mighty mistake. 
but there was no use knocking. The door stayed tight shut. Danny Lane began walking back and forth, back and forth, up and down the long block he paced. And as he paced, the sky grew dark, when a sudden gust of wind sprang up and blew away his beautiful bouquet, and his snappy cap fell off. To make matters worse, it began to rain in torrents. Danny Lane dropped his cane and stood under a weeping willow tree. But as the rain poured down through the branches, Danny Lane was soon soaking wet, Soaking wet, his curls came unfurled. He took off his jacket and hung it on the willow branch. Luckily, he had kept on his sweater. And just as the rain stopped and the warm sunshine came beaming down, Dandelion decided to sit on Jennifer Giraffe's front steps until his mane was dry. While he sat there, he had spied three dandelion flowers under the bottom step, where they had been protected from the wind and the rain. He picked the dandelions and said, I think I will try again. And he rang the bell. Well, well, if this isn't our friend Dandelion at last, said Jennifer Giraffe. We've been waiting for you for the past hour. I do hope you weren't caught in that awful cloudburst. Everyone at the party greeted him heartily. Later on, when all her guests were enjoying tea and taffy, Jennifer Giraffe told Dandelion about the silly-looking lion who had come to the door earlier. Dandelion almost spilled its cup of tea, reared back, and laughed uproariously. Oh, that was me! I was that silly-looking lion! Miss Giraffe was so flustered that she got herself all tangled up in her long pearl necklace. I do apologize for having closed the door on you, she said, blushing. I promise never to do such a thing again. And I promise you I will never try and turn myself into a stylish dandy, said Dandelion as he sipped his tea. From now on, always just be plain me. This is very obviously from Britain. <laughs> but it's very good. Cooper, did you like it? <coughs> good response. So please press the subscribe button if you want to keep up with our book miss books, as well as press the little bell on your mobile mobile devices, which includes iPads. Yes. Um, so that you can get notifications whenever we post. Excellent. And yes, and see whenever we get new we what we get for every day of book miss. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Wait 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 wait.